Hi everyone, I'm going to be sharing an exciting topic with you today. For those joining us for the first time, you are welcome. Today I'll be talking about what to do as Windows 7 support ends. As it is already official from Microsoft that the support for Windows 7 will end on 14th January 2020. If you are using Windows 7, you should be seeing some notice about this by now that you will no longer be receiving updates and security fixes that can protect your pc from harmful viruses and malicious software and you are recommended to upgrade to windows 10. i will share with you three options you can choose from the first is you can choose to ignore this message from microsoft and keep using windows 7 but you must not connect to the internet or plug any external storage device else you'll be exposed to virus and malicious software but if you have to then you need to install a good up-to-date antivirus software then the second option is subscribing to the microsoft extended security update if you have some special software or hardware that are not compatible to windows 10 you can opt for this option. Microsoft will continue to support your Windows 7 till January 2023 at a price. For each computer, you will pay $50 for the first year and the second year will cost you another $100 for each computer and the third year will cost you $200 for each computer. The third option is upgrading to Windows 10. And before you upgrade to Windows 10, you must make sure that your hardware meets the recommended requirements. Your system must have a 1 GHz compatible processor, a 2 GB RAM, a 2 GB hard disk drive, and a decent display, at least minimum of 800 by 600. Any recent computer should have a configuration above this, so it's not an issue unless you are using a system that was built maybe in the 90s. So coming to the first option, ignoring Microsoft message, I think I will not recommend you to do that, even though if you are going to get a good antivirus, in the sense that there are some disadvantages of running your computer on Windows 7. Some of these are like modern computer peripherals, like printers, scanners, cameras, some of them or the recent ones are not compatible with Windows 7. So that compatibility issue might come up and even some latest softwares like the Microsoft Office, Adobe Media Suite, most of them are not compatible with Windows 7 unless you install the service pack. So that's it. And coming to the risk of running Windows 7, you can imagine when the gatekeeper is no longer there this message is from microsoft it's just like you are using windows 7 at your own risk imagine if one day you own your computer and you discover that you can't put on your computer again and you are you discover that your hard drive has been formatted that's a terrible experience to behold so you know talking about that security is a very very vital situation to consider especially if you are using your systems for business imagine you have your customer details your vendors your suppliers your creditors your debitors everything on your system and you now discover that you can't open those files it is a very terrible experience so i would recommend that you go for windows 10 it's cheaper to upgrade to Windows 10 rather than staying on Windows 7. And if you go with the path of subscribing to, for them, is subscribing to the extended security update, it will cost you more. By 2023, you might be spending about $350, of which that particular that amount is even enough for you to buy a new hardware and with a, a software. So installing Windows 10 we have two types of license keys that you can get we have the retail version and the oem version you can get the license key of the retail version on the microsoft website and also download the software there it's about 200 dollars but if you can't afford that you can go for the oem version you can get it from any third party 
which is between $50 to $100. So the choice is yours. The only difference between the retail version and the OEM version is that the retail version, you can install it in many computers, but you can only use it one at a time. But the OEM is locked to a particular system that you install it. So if you install a OEM version of, um, of Microsoft Windows 10 on a particular system, you can't use that license key in any other system. So that's the difference. So now that you've known the options you can choose, if you're still using Windows 7, it's not left for you to make your choice. I hope you have learned something new in this video. And if you do, please give it a like and share it to friends and colleagues. And if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified when next I upload useful videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.